just finished testing the Larson Escape 21, the all new pontoon boat from Larson. You're saying like what? A pontoon, pontoon boat from Larson? Well, like last year when I was here for the 100th anniversary, we tested the All-American and I was really excited to see what the next century would bring with Larson. Well, here we are, we got pontoon boats. And this is a twin tuber and it's powered by a 90 horse Mercury. So you're thinking, okay, this probably is gonna be running in the mid 20s, but uh, they've actually uh, created little mini boat hulls underneath with 15 degree dead rise. So what happens is you really get out of pl on plane quickly and uh, we got it on plane in three seconds, which was really fast. And it was really a non-event. You couldn't even tell uh, when the bow went over. So as soon as you jam the throttle, you're pretty much planing. And we got to uh, 20 miles an hour in 7.6 seconds. And our top speed was a really respectable 32.3 miles an hour. So that's plenty fast enough to take the kids uh, wakeboarding and skiing. And you have an option to go to a 115, which I, I would like that myself because uh, I have some big friends who like to go water skiing, so they kind of need it. Now one of the neat things about this, uh, the hull configuration, this boat turns really flat. A lot of twin tubers will kind of dive in the turn, but this tracks really well because you actually have a keel on each pontoon, so it really tracks beautifully. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features. Larson's had a tremendous history in their first hundred years. Looks like for the second hundred, you guys have got some big plans. Pontoon boats, huh? We're, yeah, we're definitely taking a different look. After a hundred years, I, I think what we brought is a hybrid, more of a runabout-ish feel, and it goes through out the whole product when we review it. Well, it's pretty tough to make a pontoon boat look different, but man, you guys sure have put the Larson touch on these things. You can tell it all the way across the lake. Love it. You know, I wasn't sure at first the wood, the woody sides and everything, but it's kind of grown on me. It's definitely a different look. It's this is an upscale look, and um, you know, honestly, this whole boat—I uh, say boat, catch myself—pontoon <laughs> is really a hybrid, and underneath this thing is really truly mini hull bottoms. And if you look at the fiberglass that integrates throughout this fencing. Um, it's a sleek look, just like you'd see on a glass boat today. It really is, and I love the huge platform back here, too. And that's what we're seeing is uh, all the entertainment still. Again, the water sports and the activities, you need the big extended swim platforms. Yeah, it's, it looks like we're ready for water sports here, too. You know, I like this uh, um, look here with just with the rails. It kind of gives it a pretty interesting look. It, it does. The stainless gates are a great bright, bright work, and it adds an upper scale, but... Actually, it has two functions. One is for the, the bright work, and the second is for airflow. Because we were talking about this pontoon being a hybrid, everything is about airflow. So very important to let it flow from the front and through. Well, let's flow on into the cockpit right. and take a look. Well, Ron, I know you're positioning this pontoon as sort of an affordable boat, but I'm seeing some really luxurious touches here, like this upholstery. Uh, what do we have going on there? Well, the upholstery, we, we spent a little time, the things you don't see underneath it, um, and I'd like to point out is we do a two layer um, foam density. So you get a nice soft touch when you first approach it, but you get a nice firm feeling if you're getting into any type of wave impact. Well, it's kind of cool with Larson because you, you guys are literally starting with a blank slate. You don't have, you know, 30 years of pontooning where you have to kind of transition. You can just jump to right where you want to be right now, can't you? Absolutely. And, you know, knowing that we've been in the business for 100 years, we bring a lot of that cruiser style into it. And, and hopefully that's what you see here. Absolutely. Um, the idea behind this helm is a little unique than the market segment because we've already known it's been out there and it's these big helms. We've decided to take a whole different approach to it. Um, we went into a nice sleek look because, again, airflow is really important. We compacted and put a sink area off to the side. We've got a cooler storage. But w what we didn't give up or we actually added to the pontoon is a side door that usually isn't standard on a 22-foot boat like this. Absolutely. And we can execute that because of this small helm. You still get the raised floor, you get all the creature features, and you also even get a GPS mounting area. Nice. But well, you save your space. Well, everything, all the gauges are visible, and it's, it's, while it's compact, you have everything you need here, and it's very ergonomically correct, too. Love the wheel.
a beautiful accent. The uh, tone on tone again is a, a very upscale look for us. Well, Ron, you said this is a 22 footer. Uh, I'm fine. We're finding lounging space all over this pontoon. I, I love the bow section here. Yeah, absolutely. Again, we're we're all about space. Um, this is actually 21 feet, and um, we carry four walkways in it, which is not traditional for the pontoon business. As you can see, what you got your hand on is stainless rail, gives you that clean flow through, but a nice seating area up front. Well, you know what it also does? It's a cool look when the boat's out running too, but it kind of gives you a feeling of more spaciousness as well. You're not you're not confined confined in the box. Absolutely. Now, Ron, uh, can you get this uh, pontoon in different configurations too? You can. Um, actually, we're doing three different models, a 21, 23, and a 25. Uh, we're taking a little different approach, though. Uh, a lot of companies out there are doing up to 100 different models. Unfortunately, out of the 100 models, you still may be getting a wrong layout. So we've taken the approach. We give a blank floor plan, and you pick and choose to customize it as you want. Great. For more information, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.